All right, yo, it's back with TJ Happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, in which today we take on a challenging battle in which we'll be taking on the Carolina Panthers, but as you see, their defense at a 96. Meanwhile, we're going up against a very young, well, we are a very young offense. So if you guys are new, man, subscribe, notification if you're new, and let's get this game under our way. We're here to get you set for what should be a good early season test for both of these clubs. <sighs> Panthers, 49ers, straight ahead. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Here we go. Welcome everybody to San Francisco, California. I'm Dan Stevens. My partner in crime is Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, this game could boil down to a battle between two outstanding quarterbacks. Absolutely, Dan. These guys put both their teams in a position... Man, has got a strong defense. Is the that is a strong defense and a better offense than Tampa. So they won't give us a run for our money. Jake Delholm is a very capable quarterback. I'll tell you one word for this guy. He's <sighs> durable. He leads Jake. it all on the field every game and plays through pain when necessary. On the other side, Our rookie. Of the ball, we've got another yes, sir. top performer, number nineteen. Yes, sir. He's a very capable quarterback. This guy is ah, so franchise quarterback. quarterback. Come on now. He keeps his feet moving, so if you forget to wrap him up, you might as well forget about bringing him down. I tell you what, Dan. Both these guys see? have potential to light it up today. Okay, Peter. We'll see how they do once the <sighs> begins. Here we go. First, the toss of the coins. All right. Five. Uh, battle to undefeated. Thanks, Here we go. It's a beautiful timber day. The conditions couldn't be better right now. <clears throat> Unfortunately, so. Second and ten. See here, we've got the injuries that have freed over the season. And we got a front and back promotion. Shit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit, right? Shit two. Shit two. Good shit, up, right? That's my rookie safety right there. Yes, sir. Go ahead and start off the game, bro. Straight to him. So you better pick that off, bro. Straight to him. Three games, four picks. Hey, three games, four picks for O'Brien. Doing good. They'll start this drive at the 34 yard line. Thank you, Brandon Lloyd. Brandon Lloyd. This shit, Brandon. Down two defenders and comes away with the football. Lonnie, I'm gonna have to protect him, bro. I'm gonna have to protect him. Got it. Touchdown. Yes, sir. Got it. Good shit, O'Brien, with that pick. Now to strike blood first. Good job on that interception, man. Yep, he was our first pick last season. Second overall pick in the draft. 17. I know running backs and top two picks already. Well, Saquon's doing all right. Gotta see what he does in Philly, but other than that, he's balling. He's gonna get a pick. I'm gonna change that this season to know what I'm playing. Hey, it's contract here, too. That's another one! That could have been another one. Smith, right? snag that one across the middle. You gotta keep on putting pressure on the loan, bro. A very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Smith goes in motion. To Steve Smith. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh Mikowski. Alright, back on the field. Let's do this. Cook. An effective first drive, and we'll see if they can That's not cooking. Start That's not cooking. Let's go! Number 87 was yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. That should never have said a lot. It should on a bullet. It should have on a bullet. And that'll bring up third down. Ah, shit! Ooh, Brandon Lloyd, what a dumb! It's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Brandon Lloyd! Brandon Lloyd, what a dumb! Number 19. What a dumb! Perfectly zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. I literally said, just give me time and let me cook. On the run, I was gonna run it. I was gonna run it. Brandon Lowe was wide open. I was gonna run it. Number 17 gets the call again and heads up field. Listen, goal. Right down at the seven. It'll be first and. 
for 17. Knew exactly where to go and the deep run. Right. Watch how he. Back to three. Fuck it. Hey, fuck it. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion, motion. Up top, Rainer Lloyd. It's intercepted. Okay, that didn't work. A touchback. I didn't see that coming. Intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a slam. <sighs> Both quarterbacks stone picks, but that one stung because it was third and goal, and we had a chance at points. to come away with his first interception. I tried doing the fade, didn't work. I tried doing the fade. Yeah, I know what I used to do in 2K8, bro. The fade route and see if that works. I don't motion and fade, it didn't work. Muhammad goes in motion. Excuse me. Shit. Catches this one and he's looking for the coordinator. And it will be a first down. Take it. <clears throat> Smith could have picked that all. Defense. We just gotta get Steve Smith, bro. Get Steve Smith real good. Cannot let the lone cook. Complete. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Third down, one man back. Third and ten. Ah, you got all day. Oh, fuck! You could have picked that. You gotta pick that. Okay. Unanswered. It happens. The 49ers and their last drive stall out at the end. Damn, he sacked. They can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 19-yard line. Of course. Peppers, no. Do not tell Second me down, this is when we start folding. Do not tell me this is when we start folding, man. It's one pick. Shake it off. Thank you. It's one interception. You'll be fine. Both these guys have the same body types. Both played collegiate basketball. destined to be Miller. Number 19. Miller. Down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Please work. Please, for the love of God, work. Please, Alon, give me time. This is a fucking find out. Drops, looking, I have a lane, I'm going to run, and it's a first down. On the ball, 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 on, on, on the ball. Change the play. Rifle. Oh my, could have picked it. Me on, pick that. All right, second and ten. Good denial there. Second Back to that route. <laughs> Dropped it. We cannot afford to be dropping passes right now, man. Fourth and nine. I go short. He drops it too. You never want to hand the other guy an edge. It was in Wilson's hands on the first two attempts. On the last, on the right before that. Can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, oh, sure. we'll start this drive. Uh, and then we get beat for a touchdown. Puts just about everything he's got into this one, and it's caught for a touchdown. Right after. Steve Smith tutors his man on the finer points of coverage. How did O'Brien not suck him? A nice catch, but also a nice move to shake. Not afford. Five minutes of the second quarter. We cannot afford to be dropping passes. He did not get it. Robinson, I'll tell you, it's going to be hard for you to run the football, but it's better than inches. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Good and sure. Let's see things up first. Cooking right now. He's cooking right now. No, little bitch, get off of me! Run that man over! Run that boy over, Robinson! Don't give a fuck if it was three yards! Robinson again! Get your bitch ass off of me, nigga! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Cook! 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 Shady sack. Carter sacks him way back at the 43. He sacked. 
Kevin Carter is here to play, I tell you. What a uh, start. down. It's worth easily got look. past oh, him. Huge tackle. Easily. And my tight end, too. Is what they're having problems with. Got Sean Taylor. Yes, sir. Good hit, Sean. Good shit, Sean. Third and 16. Doesn't feel too good when it's you, right? Doesn't feel too good when it's you. Oh, and it's that nice when it's y'all, right? And they force a third and very, very long. Monsters do. Third and 16. Third and 16. Come on, defense. Get them off the field. Did you back to the black one on the team? Yes, sir. To the crib, 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 to the crib. Damn. Good shit, O'Brien. Good shit, O'Brien. Good shit. Good job on that pick, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck out of here, bro. That was perfect. Trying to make sure he wins defensive rookie of the year, too. My safeties. Hey. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some show outs in the game. Miller. Face you. Caught something. First down. They get the first on third and long. My two players, bro. My two star players. Shit. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Robinson, wide open. Thank you, thank you. Fuck off. Oh, damn, I spun. If I, yo, if he caught both of them, that's to the crib. Good shit, Robinson. Number 17. Yes, sir. Athletic prowess that's a number two overall here. pick right there. Oh, that move gives him all those extra yards on the ground. It's the phone. He reels in another one today. Wonder what they to get them into a second and short situation. That's the start of the season. Play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Ah! Oh, Cut him a bit for a touchdown. That was the second TD of the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. Yeah, Rob, Rob Robinson. Robinson showing he got that. He's showing he's just number two overall pick. Ain't no bust though. Ain't no bust over here, bro. Mouth football here. Beautiful run. What a punishing shoulder shot. Off of me. That was his second touchdown. rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. Stevens has not yet thrown one, but hey. He's that kind of player. You got the lead back. That's all that matters. O'Brien in that pick. Robinson was cooking. We got the lead. That's all that matters. The team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice. Third and seven. Third down. Six Up top. Yards to go. No one was there. Complete. Overthrew him. Get ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lines up to punt. The Niners are looking for some separation before half. All right. And we'll start this drive at their 37-yard line. Mm. The 40. Well, what the fuck? He sacked. The 49ers. Julius Peppers again. Julius Peppers again. Chops looking. Caught it on the ball. Waiting, 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 Miller. That's why I wanted to wait. 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 Because I knew that was going to happen. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. That's all. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Run the last one. Take a timeout. That's their final one. Sour run lines up for the punt. Number 23 to make the return. Sauerbrunn takes the long snap and ah oh, shit. Williams fair catches it at the 12. Penalty, shit. First down. Isaac Sokawaga ran into the kicker. Uh, after oh, the fuck, kick roughing the kicker. Ah, oh, why, man? And the so the Panthers will take seven a seconds. They're gonna kick it. You know oh, what a name. This is a this is a long this is a long field goal attempt. Casey lines Not up even the close. yard attempt and it's no good short of the goal post. John Casey. That shit was doomed from the jump. Kick, but that shit was doomed from the jump. In all fairness, that's a pretty launch it there, young fella. 
sacked to end the half. Two. He is sacked to end the half. The Panthers are one guy short on the line, but it turns out they don't need him. Three is plenty to get the job done. Check it out. Ouch. Oh, they got through. It's anyway. bad enough that I got to worry about Julius Peppers. That's but this whole defensive line, for bro. Defense, Four sacks. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. And that'll do it. Robinson is carrying. Robinson is carrying right now, bro. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Literally the same amount of turnovers. Take a look at the halftime yeah, five rushers got 77. Look at the difference in rushing yards. The 49ers yeah. are way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started this one early in the first quarter. Number 32 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. 49ers early in the first, already inside field goal range. Number 17 was able to make things pay off on the ground. A five yard touchdown for the 49ers. 49ers midway through the first, Niners out in front by seven. Chris Gamble is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way <sighs> as he's yep. able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Panthers back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. Jake DeLome would find his target on this one. Panthers back seven to nothing. Steve Smith is gonna find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. A 32 yard touchdown for the Panthers. The Panthers yes. even the score seven all. The Panthers later on Go in Brown the second the quarter, the ball at the midfield strike. Number 32 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Niners, after getting an interception, game tied 7 all. Number 17 got the carry here and he was able Again, to break through. Carrying. 49ers still late in the half. Chris Gamble shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Niners are holding on to a lead, 14 to Barely. Seven. Robinson. Now let's check out the undisputed half. 17 attempts, 70 yards to touchdowns. Number 17 has been unstoppable. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens <sighs> and Peter O'Keefe. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drop uh, results. And the thing I want to talk about is how uh, close this game is. Drops. Looking. Curl. Shit, Miller. Number 87. You got to wake up, Steven. 133 passing yards, zero touchdowns, two touchdowns. Team two picks. The defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. I think the short game there, but not enough. Get on one. He's got seven tackles so far. Number 17. Versus one! Out of the game! Go Robinson! Eight. Damn, he got caught! Oh. Fuck! Yeah, was right, I said for six. Damn! I didn't even know it was too late. Number 17. Yes, good run. Here. How the fuck did he catch it? Good shit, Robinson. Those are nice stats. Way good run. Carry the ball. Damn, five. Gains five on the play. Four. Some gain there, but, but not enough for the gonna be better. He's been working hard so far. That's his eighth tackle. What? Trash that! Trash that! He didn't get, get it. Number seventeen carries it yet again. Oh, he's hurt. Can't convert the third down. Fuck it. Fourth and inches. Why? Fuck not. First down. Fuck it. He was easy. You sneak it. Fourth and inches. Caught him off goal with that draw. Caught him off goal. Third, and Third goal. down, goal to go. Shot. Incomplete. One and this one complete. is incomplete. With the deflection. Uh, in a close game like this, in a close game like this, I am. Uh. Snapper, 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 snapper. Play clock, play clock. And we don't get it. Seriously? Way back at the 
Oh, really? I should have. That was the play, bro. The ground, the what am I supposed to do? They are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Second down, both tight ends left. That's what is kicked off. In Canada to make pick six. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Carolina can eat a dick. Fuck off, bro. They want to blitz up. They want to try to go after that quarterback. Go after their quarterback too, bro. This shit. Who took? Was that Sean? The ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. Nah, not even. It's a defensive lineman on the back down. This shit. They put points on the board. That's their third interception of the game, and Peter, the D is homing. Fuck off. My fault. Fuck off. Off the line, tipped and picked off, ran back for six. Like, bro, I've had no time in the pocket all fucking game. Why well, think why Stevens has not yet had a touchdown? No time. This annoying ass defense. And then our defensive line with a beautiful play swat that shit down like Shaq in the paint and fuck the end of the pick six. In on the passing game. This shit. I love it. Third and seven. Third and seven. Come on, defense. Motion. Deep to the right side, and the catch is made. Watch Steve. Watch Steve. I said McAllister could have had a pick. And it's tipped. We just signed him recently too. Two for nine, one for three, one touch. It's just him. Then six. Motion again. Lewis. Oh, could have had another one. Good defense. Good defense. Where was that play? Where was that play when I needed it? That was the play I was looking for. Fourth down. This was the play I was looking for. Didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Brandon Lloyd. Third down and less than a yard. Brandon again. On the ball. They convert on third down. Why with his legs and that is a first down out of bounds. The 42. That will bring up first down. Number 19 does a little last minute razzle dazzle here. The run. Get some yards. You might challenge that. Nope, you're not gonna challenge anyone out of surprise. Yep, no way. Is not Knew happy it. with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, that's all coming. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Carolina is challenging the spot of the ball. This is their right. first what challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Dan, on the replay here, look for where the ball is when he steps out of bounds. That will tell us if the spot is good or Let's not. Let's see. I think he went out before. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Inches. Carolina will not be charged to timeout. Inches. He likes the call. It's cool. It's literally second and inches. Is we're kind of at the same spot we was, just exactly. First down. Third and ten. And it is not real in. Brandon Lloyd had some room on the free is there, but couldn't. Dropped it again. They had an opportunity to convert. Number 87. He dropped it again. In his hands. At least I thought so. Let's look. With the coverage. Yep, right there. It's a touchdown. To catch those it's a touchdown. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. It's a touchdown. It bounces your way, and it's sometimes touchdown. it doesn't. Exactly. It's a touchdown. It's six. Number 19. On the beans. What was that throw attempt? It falls incomplete. You don't convert on fourth down. Miller, what is going on? You dropped two. You were three, actually. You were wide open. That was a touchdown. And McAllister gets it back. Thank you. McAllister gets it back for us. 
You just signed him to a big contract, too. Six years, $32.52 million. Yeah, I know. A lot of money. Yeah, I know. This shit, man. Watch. Great oh, it Great sucks to be home. Great athletes. It's all happening down there. Get off of me. Shit. I should have spun out of that. I should have juked, actually. Just plain rude on this play, Dan. He obliterates his tackle by pushing me. them aside. Oh, that's how you do a stiff arm. You can't. Coach <sighs> you. How much strength do you need? To Offense pull ain't really do shit. Robinson is the saving grace well, right now. This team. Too. So, uh, yeah. Fourth, final quarter. Robinson has shown he is the backbone of this offense in this game. He is the backbone of this offense. He was dropping passes. Like, what am I? What am I supposed to do against shit like that? Drop. Caught out of bounds. It's incomplete. Oh, incomplete. My fault. Did a brilliant job keeping watch over his zone. There's going to have a chance. Let's well, set up for Phil Gold if we don't get it. Yeah, he didn't get it. Just kick it. Just kick it. That will bring up fourth down. Ah, shit. Ah! Got it? No, he did it. It was close. No good. Short of the goal post. Close. It was close. Andy Lee had the butterfly net to bring the high It was close. Watch him adjust here. And he got the Nearly got it, bro. I gotta think the bad The bullet and it's tip. Incomplete. Third down and four wide out. Third and ten. Smith goes in motion. Watch Steve. Watch Steve. Incomplete. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up. Okay. Five minutes left. Above 14. Give it our running back who bursts through and it's the same person. Call him again. The same person I saved that, la that last touchdown in the third quarter just saved this one. Could have scored too, bro. Could have scored. This shit, Robinson. Number 17 sticks close to his blockers here. He's got 183 yards on 29 carries. 183 yards. Just a single receiver on the Shit. field. But at 20 yards. Look at him. He smacked that pass away. Looking seven. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Drop. Miller. Really? With the deflection. I feel like both quarterbacks have had the same success. Nothing. Except the Lomax touchdown. Smith could have picked that off. Two for three. Two for eleven. One for five. One for two. Zero for four. Zero for three. Two for eleven in the middle. Not even. He's two for what? Fifteen? And thrown in the middle in reality? Shit. Incomplete. The defense. They're going for it. They have to, though. Four, they're only down by 14. A stream? A screen? Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. There you go, Johnson. Tight end. Johnson. Eric Johnson. Has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration. Number 17, Second powered eight. forward with the football, thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Up top. Yes, Miller caught it. Touchdown. Miller caught a pass. Miller caught a pass. Thank you. That's all I wanted. A touchdown. What am I supposed to do? Don't touch them, bro. So that, so, so that, uh, uh, is that too much to ask for? That's what my franchise. Second down. This is alone stats, actually. Has thrown 11 straight incompletions. Damn. Mango. Was gonna say 12. Is that the 45? Was gonna say 12. How to play ball in the NFL? He makes the catch and then works for more yards. First and ten. Seven for 32. Seven for 32. 
That is far worse than Stevens. Throws a bullet to the flat and this what? Is the 48. First down. He another batted ball. Second and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. Drop. Thank you. Another one. O'Brien oh, make it three. Five interceptions. O'Brien oh, with three. Yes, sir. Good shit, O'Brien. Perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Good shit. Three picks. And you know, with that interception in motion. Ah, got it. Where's them? The Panthers Brown one. their first time up. Just to help out even more. Number 17. Yep, knew it. Go for me. And that should be 200 yards. Burnt another one. That should be 200. That should be 200. That's 200, right? 200. Yep, 206. Yes, sir. That's 206 yards on 37 attempts. Incredible game so far. Number 17 carries it yet again. Fourth and one. Is brought down short of the mark. Barrier in the turf, short of the markers. Just needs one yard. It's going to grow there as the D's defense is back was against the wall. Oh, get it. Get past the chocolate Thank you. First down. That's great D. Say, get past it. And here, and they stood together. Mr. Robinson. Fourth down. 429 yards allowed in the game. And the clock will continue to run. Number 17. Maybe wait for the clock to run out. This was mainly a Robinson masterclass. That's what it was. It was a Robinson masterclass. In this game and in this video, he showed why he was the second overall pick in the draft. And he proved that he was better than the first running back taken, which was the first overall pick, and he ended up going to Jacksonville. So, Stevens, I'm not even mad at Stevens for his performance. It's the fact that this defense was fucking annoying, but our defense got interceptions. That changed. That that was a difference, all right? They were just annoying. We just got picks. Second and so, it's our last nail, and then we'll just call it a, call it a game. Call it a game. Game over. For my partner, Peter Twenty-eight Ortiz. seven. This is Dan Stevens saying uh, until next time. Like we had we, we supposed to we supposed to we were supposed to win by way more than what we did, bro. Way more. Excuse me. But defense. It was a defensive game to that. I, that pick six. That pick six actually changed the whole momentum of the game. Because it was still back and forth, no matter what. It was still back All and right, forth. Gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN Studios for our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The 49ers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 17 would get the carry here. Good blocking up front to help the spring him. The Panthers had to stop on fourth down. Andre Carter would Big come six. up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the 49ers. The Panthers, after getting an interception, Panthers losing by 14. Yes. Would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Number nine. Didn't really mean anything. With his man on this one. Niners then ran off again. One to seven. Still the same school. First, Billy Joe McAllister would come up with the big play to kill a drive. Another pick. He was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Niners have it off an interception. Ball at the midfield strike. Number 17 would find an opening here and it was off. A 17 yard play that set up a 49er field goal, but they couldn't connect. Niners winning by 14. Number 17 is going to get the carry mm -hmm. here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. Robinson again, then finally the we Niners have it after he threw a touchdown pass. Downs. Number 19 would find his target on this one. A 17-yard touchdown for the 49ers. Niners out in front, 28-7. to seven. Chris Mangum Force had to work to find an opening. But he was able to haul this one in. Yeah, and after 11 straight completions. One, Niners win big, 28 to 7. Bailey. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game. Robinson. Our player of the game, number 17, is on the field. Carried. Carried. 
carry. Edge, Chris, you gave an outstanding 39 attempts, 210 yards, two touchdowns. To a runaway victory. What was the key to your success? I have to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. You know, the offense starts out with the foundation, and that's the offensive line. Those guys often get overlooked, and they bring it every game. I think their hustle was a big part of us coming out on top today. Back to yeah, you, especially Chris. running the football, yes. I'm Chris Berman, and that concludes our broadcast of the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Take care. We'll see you next time. Yeah, basically, it sums it up. Sums it up. Sums it up. That sums it up. We scored in every single quarter, but it really didn't feel like it. it I'm like, you guys watched the game. It did not feel like we scored every single quarter. It did not feel like that at all. I, I, at all. The, look at the difference. The Stevens went 17 for 34, 50%, 194 yards, nearly had 200, and he had one TD and two interceptions. Jake DeLome had one TD and five interceptions, 126 yards, and went 8 for 35 and 23%. Passing the football in this game was fucking irrelevant. Meanwhile, this man Robinson had more carries than their actual running back. Not even as I think more than yeah than they, than anyone. They barely ran the football. They mainly tried kept on passing and kept on picking the ball off. And then go to receiving and Brandon Lord, of course, leads in catches and receptions. Miller has to get his shit together because Miller's dropping too many. I targeted Miller ten times and he caught what three passes. Like, come on, bro. Some of them, some of them are bad throws on my end. Some of them are bad throws on my end. Bad decisions on my part. But some of them, he was in his hands. For example, he had a touchdown in the second quarter. In the third quarter, he dropped it. Or in the second, one of those two. He had a touchdown in his hands and he dropped it. He was he walks in. He literally walked in for the touchdown. And he dropped it. Oh, my fault. Hold up, my fault. I go defense. Um, yo, bro. There you go. All right, tackles, Morgan led in tackles, assists. Sack, Peppers with two. Manning with one. Carter with one. Jacobs with one. So he got sacked for a grand total of three, four, five. But we had the same amount of picks. O'Brien with two. McAllister with one. Carter with one. And that is it. Well, that's it for today's episode. Like, comment, and sub if you guys are new to the channel. And, of course, as usual, I will save the recap of week three at the end of the video. So, if you guys are new to me and subscribe, I'm out. Peace. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Raiders come away with a decisive 10-point win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Rams pick up win number two. Darius Thompson stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Terry Glenn pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Cowboys beat the Eagles. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Kevin Dyson is probably the one that most leaps out at you. Doctors at the hospital reported finding a broken vertebra in his back, and needless to say, he'll be out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Ike Hilliard might be the biggest loss on this list. He's suffering from a stress fracture in his foot, and he'll be out for eight weeks. Now the big story of the day. Brian Dawkins will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. By the coal mines of Pittsburgh, we had the Steelers get squeezed out by four points. Chargers, Texans. Davis is so dangerous inside the red zone. And call signals at the five, and there it is, a quick post, a slant touchdown. The Chargers go on to win this by the final score of 24 to 10. 
down in New Orleans. We had the Saints get sent away with a seven-point loss. The Giants defense got to the quarterback four times in their win at Giants Stadium. The Jaguars won on the road and will now head home to meet the Broncos. Deion Branch stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Number 17 ran for an incredible 200 plus yards and helped his 49ers beat the Panthers. Chiefs, Broncos. Jordan is always a guy to look for when you're at the 10 yard line as they are right now. Here's the snap, the lob, touchdown. The Chiefs win this one by the final score of 27 to 24. In a long standing NFC rivalry, we had the Vikings pick up win number two. And in our final game, we had the Titans come away victorious. All right, Chris, let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League, as free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Mark Fields will be playing his football elsewhere, though perhaps not for as much as he would have liked. Five years, $3.7 million. Darnell Dockett is on the move. Perhaps not for all that he thought he'd get, but a good deal nonetheless. Five years, $5.5 million, plus a $1.6 million signing bonus. Corey Bird is also on the move as he signs a robust five-year contract with the Vikings. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time player. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.